So I had a late 40 year old, late 40 year old woman uh, present to my office years ago and uh, was for some periodontal examination. And she was concerned about just some periodontal issues that we need to address. And during the routine periodontal examination, we not only examined the uh, gums, gingiva, etc. cetera, um, I also, we also do an oral cancer screen where we're looking for any abnormalities that may be, uh, may be of consequence for the patient. Um, I noticed on her tongue that she had a very large, what I would consider either hemangioma or a hematoma. So I asked her how long she'd had it for, and she said she's had it for as long as she can remember, probably over 40 years, which is kind of unusual. And, but no one had ever brought it up to her or discussed any treatment for her on how she can remove it. And so we discussed it and uh, I made a mention to her that I'm using a laser now. It happens to be the Periolase, uh, which is an NDAG laser. And I told her, I believe we can treat this pretty atraumatically without any problems. Um, I gave her the options of if she sees an oral surgeon, it could involve the removal of a significant portion of her tongue. Um, it could also involve a lot of bleeding, sutures, etc. Uh, treating with another laser wavelength really wasn't an option because of where those wavelengths are absorbed and may have resulted in a lot more bleeding, a lot more charring, which you would see with the CO2, etc. So after discussion, she says, yeah, let's go ahead and give it a try. So I said, fine, let's, if we want, we can do it right now. And she had no problems. We had extra time during the, um, during the appointment. So we went ahead, I gave her some anesthetic, local anesthetic, anesthesia had set in, we went ahead and we treated it in what we call a non-contact mode, which is really one of the benefits of the periolase because I don't even have to touch the lesion. I can just be on top of it, almost painting across it um, to, get the, uh, to get the laser energy to interact with the uh, blood. What's nice about the procedure, about treating these hemangiomas and hematomas, is that it really only takes one appointment, one procedure, and that's basically it. Um, it doesn't take long to do, depending on the size, it can take anywhere from a small lesion, maybe 30 seconds, to a little larger lesion, maybe a minute. Afterwards, it looked white, it was fine, there was no problems, there was no, uh, I had no sutures to put in, there was no bleeding, and the patient seemed very comfortable. I told her to uh, just watch the area, take some uh, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories or a Tylenol if she needed to, and uh, that was it. I saw her uh, two weeks later and the lesion was pretty much gone. The uh, hematoma was pr almost finished up. It looked like she had just bitten a small little portion of her tongue. Then two weeks after that or four weeks after the, the initial appointment, the lesion was completely gone. The tissue had completely healed in. It looked like her tongue was perfectly normal. She remarked to me that it was the first time in 40 years that she could actually um, stick her tongue out at a person without being embarrassed. So to me, that's a successful case, but it was nice to see the, um, the results and to see how atraumatically it worked.